What the f is that? Uh, bro. We got body to the lows. I'm going to over. No fing way. Dude, that whole thing just moved. I'm not I'm not for Oh my god! I can't close my fing fingers on the picture frame. You hear screaming and chaos over here. Prayer, quiet over here. And then you hear a bone song. The Shadow Man doesn't just attack humans, it attacks spirits. It's in its own purgatory of like reliving its like worst actions. Okay, crying and sweating in the forearm thing with the weirdest I've ever felt. Time of discovery, it's a black leg in England. 663 years ago. It sounded like someone going. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Twice in the same recording, cut them up. That's insane! I watched it stand up and then go and follow it. Are you one of the entities that's been buried here? Welcome back to the Overnight Channel. This is our fifth night in the United Kingdom. We're in London. That's the Tower Bridge. And the investigation we just did was never supposed to happen. I didn't think it was possible. No one's even been down in this location for about five years. But we just investigated the London tombs. Yeah, that thing you haven't yeah. heard of where thousands, if not tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people were buried during the Black Plague. The evidence we got tonight is beyond any tools we have ever had. The physical in-room evidence captured. It's then paired up with the SLS, the intelligent responses. <laughs> Mind blowing, yeah. <laughs> Overwhelming. He has no words. He's speechless. He is, he is, he's this actually is speechless insane. right now. He literally, he literally <laughs> can't say anything. If there was anything he could say, what he would mouth right now is, tonight's investigation uh -huh. is the craziest thing that I have ever been a part of. And I'm only saying that because Elton is saying that because now I have to say that, which also means I have to say America is the best. All of their use of words such as parking lot instead of car park, biscuit instead of cookie, all of these things, the Americans are right. They have it all perfectly. Mm -hmm. They figured it out. Wow, There's yeah. a reason why they left the British rule and they nailed it perfectly. Oh, I wish I could be an American. I would leave my country instantly okay, okay, if I could. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's Cross the line. Cross the line. <laughs> this in the empire. <laughs> Anyways, it's five in the morning. Uh. We had to finish out our investigation just because we had to leave, but it's been incredible. Thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight, we will be investigating one of the world's most infamous secret locations where an estimated 100,000 bodies have been buried directly underneath a global icon. Welcome to the London Catacombs. We have visited the Paris Catacombs, over 250 miles of tunnels and 6 million bodies. Tonight's location is precisely that, a compressed down to 8 rooms and with an additional 666 years of horrifying history from medieval to modern. First London Bridge was built by the Romans in 43 AD after their invasion of Britain and over the centuries, it has been destroyed and rebuilt several times, often incorporating burial practices due to London's frequent plagues and high mortality rate. But the most famous medieval version of the bridge was constructed in 1209, with buildings and even a chapel built on top. This bridge, spanning the River Thames, became a symbol of commerce and death, because in medieval London, the bridge was notorious for displaying the heads of executed criminals and traitors. These grisly displays contributed to the bridge's association with death and fear. Yet the reason that brings us here tonight is due to the Black Death and secret burials beneath the bridge. The bubonic plague, also known as the Black Death of 1347 to 1351, swept through Europe and devastated London in the mid 14th century. The plague killed an estimated 75 to 200 million people in Europe, and London lost about 60% of its population. The plague was spread by fleas 
disease on rats and cause severe symptoms such as blackened skin, fever, and painful swellings. The dead piled up faster than they could be buried, and during the height of the plague, thousands of bodies were secretly buried in mass graves beneath and around the London Bridge to prevent further spread of disease and due to overcrowded churchyards. The plague caused widespread fear, with many believing it was a punishment from God. Rituals, prayers, and even occult practices were carried out in an attempt to stop the suffering. Nothing worked. In 1665, the Great Plague of London struck again, killing an additional 100,000 people. The areas around the bridge, including the tunnels and tombs beneath it, were used once again to bury the dead in secret, further adding to the already haunted and cursed atmosphere. In the 18th century, the London Bridge continued to be a site for public executions. Tortured souls and criminals were often buried nearby, sometimes in the same mass graves as plague victims. This contributed to the already dark reputation of the bridge as a place haunted by restless spirits. In the 19th century and Victorian era, as London expanded, many of these secret mass graves were uncovered by accident. Workers reported finding large piles of bones and entire tombs beneath the bridge, many of which were hastily covered up, never to be spoken of again. Yet they were known by grave robbers who would target the tombs to steal bodies for medical dissection. In the 20th century, rumors emerged of secret cults and occult practitioners using the tunnels beneath the bridge to summon spirits and demons. Some explorers have found evidence of animal sacrifices, altars, and strange symbols etched into the walls. The area in which we are investigating tonight is truly unknown to what extreme extent of bodies have been disposed of there, as the government made a choice to only excavate a few inches into the soil and not disturb the rest. Yet given that it is directly under the London Bridge, it is believed that the mass majority of victims to the many plagues were all buried precisely here. For nearly five years, no one has been allowed to conduct a paranormal investigation of this area, and it seems the spirits, entities, or demons within these tombs have been relentlessly waiting to communicate. We have never documented physical, audible evidence like this before. Yes, we have had knocking and taps on walls, doors, and windows in previous investigations, but what we captured tonight I never thought would be possible. Deep, long, clearly audible, scratching on walls and furniture, paired with highly intelligent EVP audio and physical tracking on the SLS and many other devices. This location has recently been converted to a haunted house type of attraction, yet it is filled with authentic, horrifying pieces of history, such as tombstones, torture devices, medical equipment, and a painting known to curse anyone who looks at it, let alone touches it, which of course I did while doing the Estes method. I will stop there, as I truly want you to be a part of this investigation as much as we were. We have left this video primarily uncut, so you can get the same experience we did. Please, if you hear or see anything, we did not comment it on the video, and if you have any theories on who or what we were talking to, please share that as well. Before this investigation begins, I just want to introduce you to what is the new overnight headquarters. It's here. I've been building this for the last two months with the help of some friends. I am surrounded by haunted items, all of which that you've seen in the video, the Annabelles, and so much more in this room that I can't wait to show you. I'm planning on filming a bunch of exclusive content for our Patreon and eventually videos that will also go on regular YouTube as well as I dial it in. But most importantly, after a few months, we finally have a new merch box that is available just in time for spooky season. I'm cutting it a little bit close on this one, but I just got all the designs done and it is shipping out pretty much immediately. So the brand new box is available right now at senditsociety.com right here with all the designs, a hoodie, an embroidered long sleeve, two amazing t-shirts that I think you'll like a lot, and the bonuses in 250 random orders. I'm also putting a ghost hunting device in. There's a bunch of other devices that I haven't been using as much that I feel like should be rehomed, so I'm actually just putting those into orders, as well as a few other kind of more common devices. So if you guys do want to head over and grab one, I make these as affordable as humanly possible. I think everyone who's ever bought one knows that for a fact. And all these boxes just go directly back into the overnight channel. And in reality, the last box is kind of what helped create this room, which then allows me to have a more kind of stable place to create additional new content. So anything I'm ever doing, I'm just trying to figure out new ways to either improve our videos, get cooler locations, upgrade cameras, pay our team better, pay our editors better, or create new content. So I just kind of want to stop in and let you all know 
that those two things are happening. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every single one of you that has been supporting this channel for years and years, and especially over the last few months, and kind of the little bit of a turmoil roller coaster that has happened, and I, I do deeply, genuinely appreciate it, and I hope these videos have been making you proud. I hope this kind of new style of everyone kind of having a no given type of attitude and doing whatever it takes to get answers has been enjoyable for you. I think you're absolutely going to love tonight's video. I still remember every sound we heard so deeply in my memory forever and always. And the investigations we have coming up in Ireland and then after Ireland, we did do two nights in the Paris Catacombs. Matt was finally able to rejoin us. Reaction videos coming back to the overnight Patreon channel. That's also linked below. All the extended versions of the videos go there as well. Their merch box is there. But regardless, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And enjoy this literally three hour video. So, okay. Have a great spooky season everyone. Hello, sir. How are you? Hey. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Elton. James. James Fletcher. Jerry. Nice, nice to, to meet Jerry. you. How are you doing? Hey, I'm Ginger. Nice, nice to meet you, Ginger. Nice to meet you, Dan. Nice to meet you, Dan. Well, welcome to London Bridge Experience. Yeah. yeah. The scattered around the tombs area beneath our feet at the moment, and um, there's actually human the Museum of London that came in did an archaeological dig. The oldest ones go back to the late 10 hundreds, but the biggest cluster comes from the 15 16 hundreds. Think of that we've right, got to know as Shadow Man. And Shadow Man is basically rumoured to be very much a large, shadowy figure that is seen around the site. Our staff members normally see him at least a couple of times a week. The chariot that you're about to jump inside is from Gladiator. Really? Yeah. Actually? Like, like legit. Yeah. Wait, legit. what? Yeah. Please put a K2 at the end of this right now. <laughs> 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 Where are you at, dude? Uh, be a peasant and then and just ask for like your life. Sir, please. Please. Again. Cut. <laughs> wrong way, wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the wrong way around. Snap back. Sir, please. You have let our entire army down. You had one job to be a messenger. I was really trying to get there all the time. I couldn't. It was too late. What was the message we asked to be delivered? Leave. Leave now. What did you tell them? Leave. Leave now. This is bro, bro character so fast. So next, you're nothing but Ned Stark, bastard son, and you will never be my king. How dare you speak to me like that? After all, I fought off the White Walkers. I saved the North. What have you done? Fair play, John. Fair play. You got me there. Fair play. If you, if you must, sir. I've been fighting the White Walkers in a while. I haven't seen a white cocker in a minute. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's for the only dance. <laughs> let's, let's head into the Viking period. Let <laughs> <laughs> me the f out of here. <laughs> One of the other creepy facts that we have in this area as well is that we do actually have some original gravestones as well. I won't say where they came from, but they were legitimately donated to us. And that's one of them there. And we do have another, these are original stones up here as well. Uh, this is where we start getting into the territory of Jack the Ripper. One of the suspects in the case was a, a gentleman called Sir William Gull. Uh, Sir William Gull was a uh, do doctor at a local hospital. And we actually were digging out the uh, vaults downstairs. A lockbox was found in the remains of an old pub. And that lockbox was a letter in the actual letter itself from a doctor to a patient. He was actually the royal link, as they always said. Uh, Sir William Gull was the, um, was the physician to Prince Albert. And it was always said that uh, Sir William Gull turned a bit of a blind eye to uh, some of the goings on of Prince Albert, and in return, um, he helped remove the problems into mental asylums. Uh, and in return, um, the prince actually ignored some of the goings on of the actual doctor as well. And that's where the possible link with Jack Ripper comes in, because it was always said that uh, whoever Jack the Ripper was knew human anatomy and was very good with a knife, but very blind mm. like a surgeon. Where is that's, he, Jerry? I don't know, that's why I don't know, I don't want to go with you. Where? Where is he? Oh, he's not. Where is I he? I thought I was just stood behind. No, no, he's not. I think he's gone this way, guys. Oh, oh he's fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they're coloring up the head. No. 
Oh my! Bro. Are you okay? There's no way to just hire me. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm just hugging this thing! Why would you do that? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my Because this place is way larger than any of us thought, mm -hmm. and the amount of real items placed into every single room, I feel like it doesn't make sense for us to just go room by room by room, but we'll never ever finish this place. Yeah. So the idea is that we're going to cut the entire place in half, we're going to be a team, Dan, myself, and Jonah, and you two, and Evan will be a team. We've set a meeting point of what we think is the middle which is the bar in which the Jack the Ripper letter and the safe was found. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that area is a meeting point. Cool. We're taking the more historical side with the church and the medical rooms and all of those routes. Mm -hmm. You're taking the haunted house side Yay. and the graveyard and everything there. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that part. Yes. <laughs> so regardless of the fact that it's themed like a haunted house, they are the real two. Yeah. Yeah. Which is such a weird thing to try and remember. Mm -hmm. And there's the real headstones there, the real doctor items. Yeah. There's a lot of lot of history. And there. was, what's interesting too is he wouldn't tell us where things were getting donated from. Mm -hmm. he, like mm -hmm. intentionally, he was like, it was donated. I can't tell you from where. So that's a fun twist because we have no idea. I assume it's from this country, but it may not be. I don't know. Yeah, it might not be. Find out. Okay, so we literally just keep investigating until we happen to end up in the same bar room. Dan, it's up to you, what are we saying? Give us a chant. Just tombs. Okay. Tombs. 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 start in every room. Because probably know these documents are real too. Yeah, because to build some of these things to look that realistic or exactly. to just get them. So obviously, we know about the Shadow Man. Yeah. We know about Emily. Yes. And we know there's over a thousand bodies below us. What's our game plan with like, establishing who we're talking to? Are we going for an aim of someone or are we just gonna see what happens? I'm okay with seeing what happens then obviously if we encounter like the shadow man then we go down that yeah, rabbit okay. hole if we okay. happen to see the girl in white let's go down that yeah. rabbit hole i mean to not have investigators here in the last four to five years and even then they were doing it infrequently yeah means no one's tried to bridge that gap there's so many kids bodies buried in the bridge to give a good look and we're in the authentic original exactly. the only section of the bridge that is still here so technically we've got bodies below us and bodies above us Really good at this, man. That was, yeah. that was seven years in the game. That was that was, <laughs> that was a really good thing. It shows. Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, damn. I'm hyped up. Oh, oh I'm ready, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah tomb, tomb, tomb. <laughs> dude, I'm hyped right now. So this is the medical room. All these items were from real hospitals. Yeah, because over there also have all the medical stuff too, so here. I have two REM pods. Golly, dude, these, all these mannequins are so freaking real. Setting one up here. This is me. Right. Yeah. So let me take, turn off your light on your body cam. Dude. Yo. Already? Can we get here? Yeah. So this these rooms were supposed to represent like all the medical cases then that came from 
what was it, like the plague and the fires mm -hmm. and seeds that are here, the dentist seed out there, things that are actually like not crops. Mm -hmm. Have residual energy, which is why we put the tools on them. I see an evil presence. I feel an evil presence. That should not be going off. No. That's what I'm saying, like, even if I get out of the sensor. I just broke your music box. Look. Oops. It like completely froze it. I pointed at the wall. The hell? There's something here, there's something about this area. Something here, there's something about this area. I thought that was like the train at first. I know. No. The person that was in this doorway, are you able to bring your energy over to this side of the room? It's almost like someone was just like standing there, like blocking the door. Exactly. What I was thinking. Like, don't go any further. Well, same way we can reset it to the, yeah, the same angle. Um, so calibrate as we know. There's something there. There's something there. Is it possible for you to step a little bit closer to where that doorway is and activate the box on the floor? It's a little wooden jewelry box. If you get close enough to it or put energy into it, it'll make a sound. And that allows us to know how much energy you have. Okay. Chance. Chance. And then it said Quran, but not spelled. Okay. Yeah, but K O R A N. Yeah, but K-O-R-A-N. Maybe whatever you just read out means something. Quran and chance. Because when you, when you read that out, it stopped. You just walked away. My name is Jerry. Came from the United States. Very first time here. Heard and learned a lot about the history just want to come and connect, talk, learn about whoever, whatever that is here. Hi, I'm Ginger. Also here visiting from America. Thank you for letting us be here. Yes. We're here to learn. We're here with respect. Great. Right, right. We have tools here and you can use them to tell us your story and tell us your messages. Hello, my name is Evan. Uh, I've been to England before. Uh, I've never been here. I'm excited to be here with everyone. And uh, more importantly, I'm more excited to help tell your stories and share them. Uh, hopefully we can document some of these. We are here to document your stories and share them with the world. And that way you won't be forgotten. And uh, hopefully you can be remembered once again. Do you mind telling us who you are? Are you the evil entity? Or is there an, an evil entity that you're telling us to look out for? 
poltergeist. Evil force. Are you afraid of this evil entity? Go home. Go home. If this is the evil entity we're talking to, show yourself. Prove that you're here. You can use our tools or use anything in these rooms. Amy. 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 If we're walking towards you, let us know. Backyard. Interesting with backyard because the people used to live on London Bridge. Oh, there were houses here. It's crazy that it stopped. <laughs> Could you possibly communicate with us through this device? If uh, if you can, give it a. Okay. Okay. Well, answer that. Oh my god. <laughs> Turn it off. It's intelligent. That's insane. Cut. What? Cut. Dinner. Cut. Dinner. Is there a banquet table here? Was there, was there a scene of food? There was the the room with the table and the body on getting cut up. Yeah. Oh. And that was the room we all felt uneasy. Oh, yeah. Still technically responding, it's just not playing. Yeah. Were you m mutilated or cut? If you was one of the people buried here, could you turn that off? Or were you murdered here? I've never seen it. It's yeah. just going. Was it the opposite? Were you someone who cut and disposed of bodies in these plague pits. Can you turn the music box off? We have no judgment if that's what you did. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Everyone had a job and those were insane times. I cannot imagine what that was like for you. Can you imagine being the person who's like responsible for just... Well, you had uh, people doing it where I think they were either infected themselves or plague doctors. So what they would do is knowingly touching these bodies, throwing them into a pit, knowing there's a high chance they'll be the one being tossed in by doing that job themselves. I know what you're about to do. What are you about to do? What? I'm just holding it. Why? Oh no, why? He wants to go full dark. I can't see sh**. Oh, this is f***ed. Oh my god, this is this actually is so f***ed. Die in house. Die in house. Yeah, you are the two scaredest people. Oh, don't forget about this. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Need energy. Need energy. Need energy. Okay. okay. Good. We're gonna go to the next room and we're gonna set up tools for you to grab energy from. Are there anyone that's following us right now? To the next room. 
Male evil. Male evil. There's a lot of evil. I'm going to set up one of our tools again. Let us know if you're here. I think this one's kind of bad. Drain. It said drain when. Right when I said this cool, this tool is kind of dead. It's the cat ball, yeah. Mm. It's very possible that people who were beheaded here have their bodies buried right underneath our feet right now, and that might be you trying to reach out to us. No, no light. light. No light. No. I'm upset. I'm upset. Don't be upset. We just turn off the light. Hear that yeah, drip? it sounds like a dripping. Uh, what the heck? You hear that yeah, drip? Yeah, it sounds like a dripping. Are you upset because of the light that we had, or are you upset because something else, something that had happened to you? Are you making that dripping noise? Is that supposed to represent something? The first thing that came to my mind is if someone was beheaded, the drip yeah. the blood. That's the sound it'd be making. This like this head dangling right here. So I have a, a device here, very similar to this. You can communicate, but this allows us to hear you. So you can say whatever you want. If you have a message for us, if you want to tell us your name, your occupation, why you're still here, if you think you're still alive, or if you know you're dead, you can talk into this and we will hear you. I'm going to leave it here for you and I'll step back. I'll step back so we don't disturb you and I'll come back and collect it and say what you want. The craziest thing about hearing these thuds is we know this is concrete, stone, feet thick, like a meter thick between all the different floors. Yeah, here yeah. it couldn't be the wind, it couldn't be like an animal. Yeah, and in order to hear, I mean, you, you've knocked on concrete yeah. before, it doesn't make a sound. No. So to hear a thud. It was great. The first thing when I heard the recorder in the beginning, the sound sounded like someone going, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, that's a good point. If you play it again and think about like almost like an assembly line of Wait, who said that's me? Wait. Because I've just wiped this clean. I just wiped this. Wait, actually, no. Wait, did any of us say that's me? I've just. So look, I wiped this completely clean. This is number one recording. Wait, actually, no. Why would look, any of us have said? There's only one recording on this, what we've just done. You know, because the first thing I talked about was the knocking. Why is this coming up 51 minutes, 22 seconds? Like once you record and you hit stop, it's a new clip. It, you can't like make one big file. How do we end up with a 53 minute file when it was only up there for... Because you wiped it before this investigation? Yeah, yeah this, it, it, this is recording the one. From the beginning. Zero, zero, zero. Look, it jumps, it for, jumps 50 for 50 minutes. That's what I'm talking about, though. Yeah. That's still what I heard, just whap. Erase it. So now there is nothing on at all. Good. You got to play. There's yeah. nothing at all. Okay. Absolutely clean slate recorder.
So that said it recorded zero seconds. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. What Let's see hell? what it says though. It's, it's something's gone wrong. Uh, and now it's at 42. Dumb thing, what's in this? I'm just like wondering, like it, it broke the music box. Physically broke the music box, actually like loosening the gears. Now it's malfunctioning a Panasonic in two different ways. Okay, what I was trying to explain by this yeah, what was that? is like what it sounded like and then felt like is like pulsating energy, like vroom, 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 like radiate, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. When energy kind of like pulses yeah. and you hear like the vroom, vroom, I vroom, hear vroom. And like, it sounded like it was coming from like right here. And there was just weird, just like, but I could, I could audibly hear it. Like in this room, yeah. I heard like pulsing, which I don't hear now. And that was the yeah. weirdest thing I could like, but now I don't. I'll be so annoyed if this one doesn't work. I know. This has worked the, fine the entire trip and the last two trips as well. Okay. Three, two. The person or entity down here, we're trying to be able to hear you. And I understand this might be very alarming and the instinct is to shut down the devices that we have that allow us to see you. But again, we have no resentment, hatred, or any opinion towards who you were or are today. We just only want to hear answers that you're willing to share. And it does seem like you had a horrific job. So could you please tell us what you considered your job to be? Ending. This is malfunctioning. I can no, hear it. I can insane. literally can hear it. Yeah, yeah. At the same time that started kicking up, I started hearing this. That was like yeah. super loud. That was great. I could, I all of a sudden I started hearing the Panasonic hissing. Rough. Rough. Are you having a hard time communicating with us in this room? Please give us a sign. That head is still moving. We haven't even been there. Touch. And the head's moving. Oh. Touch. And none of the other ones are moving. Just that one. Yeah. If you want to touch things, we have a few devices here. Made a noise. Made a noise. And not friendly. Not friendly. Oh my god! Touch, no. make a noise, REM pod. Yep. I'm not friendly. And you told him to do it. If you want us to stay, disembodied. Disembodied room. Should we move on? What do you say? Am I tripping? Ooh. That camera's on, right? Yeah. And it's facing that way? Uh -huh. Yeah. There is. Ooh. 18. There was one dot, the one or two dot right in front of us, my 12 o'clock. Green dot? Yes, that just disappeared like something went in front of it and just went back again. You did just lean on that, right? Huh? You did just lean on that, right? No, I have not Get the f*** you didn't just lean on that. No, I literally have not- Hey, bull bull bullshit. Bull that's on f***ing, hold on. No f***ing way. I have not moved No f***ing way. 
Please tell me that's got the right. Dude, that whole thing just moved. That this whole, thing? Yes, this whole f***ing cabinet just if, did this. If it... Okay. Move, move back your right leg slightly. Bro, the whole thing moved. This whole thing just, did, just did that. Shit. It went right here to here. I thought that was you guys moving your feet. No, you were walking. no. I swear, I swear, my, I yeah, swear I, absolutely I, my all my feet, life. I, I mean, just... My feet did not move. It should show up on his body cam. Because I still haven't moved my feet. For me to get back to touch it, I'd have to be like kind of off balance. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I would, like I would kind of fall over if I got far enough back to touch it. It went from here, just barely tapped, because I could see like a finger width gap, and then it came back to here. But the thing is, when it came back, it came back like and just stopped. Bro, cut them up. Cut them up again, again right? Yeah. Just twice in the same recording, cut them up. All of that was during this moving, because ending happened a little bit after, obviously. Dude, and all that chatter too, like, like this was off camera. Well, like, you tested that upstairs right before we came yeah. down, and there it was clean. It like, sounded like a clean, just yeah. your voice. Like Elton is here, testing, testing. Yep. But it sounds like cut them up and throw them into the pits. Yeah. And then later we hear cut them up. That was super clear. It's like cut them up. Working for playing research and just cutting up. Maybe. Yeah, we could speculate, but he could be a doctor, a plague doctor. Yeah, plague doctor or someone who saw an opportunity and was like, they're already dead. I well, gotta dispose of them, might as well. Well, you had the body snatchers. That's right. Cutting parts off bodies, taking them to univers universities for. We're not even in the room where, like, those items are. I know. We're still in the first of. Eight rooms. Again, no one's been here in five five Same. years. This, we weren't supposed to get this location. We changed flights because we got this location. And so I'm a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And like this was literally never supposed to happen. We we're supposed to end at Scared, and then we weren't even supposed to be filming together tonight or anything like yeah. that. When I ask one more time. The f is that? What's that? That was not a train. But it's not there. It was almost the same like pattern as was and you were describing before with like the wavering building. Need a voice. Need a voice. Well maybe we'll do Panasonic in the next room. Mm. Alright, you know the drill. What do you mean? What's what's the drill? No. You think Elton and Dan are doing this? <laughs> no, they're not. They're <laughs> Holding on to each other. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong oh way. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh. Stop. That was scary. I got kicked in the face. Oh my god. And we're supposed to get through it? It's a maze. If anybody's here right now and you want to tell us how to get through this maze faster, we'll appreciate that. Oh. Are you kidding me? Overcoat. Overcoat. 
Warning. Warning. What are you trying to warn us about? Long shot, but overcoat could be black. Possible the shadow man. I mean, I hate to say it, but to be fair, if we've been talking to children's spirits, it probably makes sense to investigate yeah. in here. What the f I'm not alone. Dude, the voice changed. It's a kid's voice again. You are not alone. Should we just do Panasonic? Yeah. yeah. What is the entity, the spirit that's been talking to us here as we are going through every room? We keep hearing a child's voice on the Panasonic, so we've stopped here in the children's room of dolls. Is this the place that you think that we should stop for the night to continue to communicate with you? False. We were told children were buried at the foot of this bridge for good luck. Are you one of the children that was buried there? What if that same entity is like projecting from that room and we're just hearing it here, which is also like the noise. Exactly. I just, I just want to see what happens when we get closer. You just don't know the spread out of energy they have. No. Shadows. Time. Child. Child. Shadows. Seen here. Yeah. Child's buried in the bridge. Got that. No. I don't think so. You edged that in there tight. Yeah, and the last thing it says is gravity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, you just walked by the other one, completely shaking the entire head, and that one's entirely fine. I made sure it was planted in there. Where'd it go? It's right there. The other one, oh, now! What the hell? I also don't think I got that one. Gravity dropped, dropped, spirit. Yeah, there's no way that's coming out of there. Look at that. Look at that. No way that's coming yeah. out of there. No, dude, I had it wedged Look in. It. That's what I was saying. The master. I feel like that one was wedged even further, that too. That one was. over can you try turning them on we're hoping we can do yes and no questions here this light by the feet will mean no and the light by the head will mean yes by putting just a small amount of energy into either one you can turn them on by pulling your energy away turn them off as a test, can you try to turn either flashlight on? As a test, can you try to turn either flashlight on? 
I know the items in this room represent something, I assume, much more... I know the items in this room represent something, I assume, much more... Yeah, that was definitely yeah. dragging. I heard that clearly in my headphones. Without footsteps either, just yeah. pure yeah. dragging. If I walk around and point to some of the other items in here, would you light it up, either torch, to just let me know if it's something similar to what you did? It's an extremely aggressive question to be asking. Did you ever harm anyone? Similar to this gentleman? Or anything like that? Older man in the corner? The people that you touched, were they only already dead? It seems like you don't want us here. You don't want to acknowledge us. So, if you want us to leave, and not ask any more questions if you could just light up one of these torches and then we'll know to leave could you let us know please i just got a feeling that you don't want us in this room you don't want to talk about your past you don't want to relive it maybe you hate it in here maybe you hate these because it reminds you of a time that you didn't like it's so crazy that we have the exact same thought process like why would it no longer be in this room or like give a symbol of get out the first room we were in felt like an office yeah. something more homey like of all places to spend your time in exactly why would you want to be in here if you hated your past yeah. you would either be in the main first room the office or the church church is a lot of and that's yeah and I'm like everything I'm asking is so insanely insulting to be like what did you do to people <laughs> and again it's worth asking if it works but yeah, of course but the reality of it is exactly, dude, I had like same thought process running through my head. Why would you be in this room? If that, if this, if you did anything similar to this and you despise what you had to do. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to relive it every day. No. Stuck in torment looking at them. Yeah, they'd be in the, the church or the pub. Yeah. Or the office, but not yeah. here. Banging from the church. You wouldn't want to relive it every day. No. Stuck in torment looking at them. Yeah, they'd be in the, the church or the pub. Yeah. Or the office, but not here. Banging from the church. Yeah, I'll grab these. Yeah, church. Again. Yeah, I'll grab these. Yeah, church. Again. Look as you're about to say church. Boom. That one wasn't even above. That was... It's like it's just a dirty banging spotlight. Okay, we're gonna make our way downtown. I'm so sad that we didn't get to hang Stay out in the doll room all night. Stay there. What? Okay, maybe we'll try the Panasonic one more time and I'm gonna turn this down so we don't get deep. What is that? What is that? That sounds like dragging. Loud thumps. You told us to stay there. And then loud thumps. Thumps and dragging. And almost, yeah, like someone dropped almost like a body and then dragged it. Was that you that was making the thumping noise that we just heard? It seems like we might not be speaking to a child that was buried here for good luck. But we're definitely speaking to somebody here. Is it possible... Is that is getting louder? Is it possible that the entity we're talking to is that of somebody whose body was forgotten here? Can you tell us anything about you? 
the little girl in the white dress that is known to be uh, to make an appearance here. Is this the person we are talking to? And if not, can you tell us your name? It almost sounded like a hospital gurney yes. being dr- uh, like rolled. Down. The heavy rolling. Was that you that was making the talking noise that we just heard? It said, yes, I am the thing that's making the loud yeah. thumping noise. So you wouldn't imagine a little girl named Emma. Emma. Like, I ma- that's, that was a heavy, heavy, big noise. I wonder if there's two. We'll go one more round. Yeah. Are there more than one of you here right now with us? Could it be possible that the shadow figure, the shadow man... So they call it, is here. I believe I heard the name Emma or something very similar. Could you confirm that that's your name or that you're the person here making the loud noises? If there's anything evil here, can you say the word evil? Sometimes it's so faint. Yeah, it's like it's trying to get through. It's trying to communicate, but almost like doesn't know English. Yeah. Almost like it's a baby. It's a child who doesn't maybe know how to speak. You don't want to wait in here. Not the church. Oh. Huh. Okay. Knocking. Knocking from a dead end. Is that the direction of the church, though? I actually, it has to be because that's a dead end that way. Yeah. Yeah, the church has to be this way. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It came from the church directly. Yes. The same right. direction. <laughs> yeah, that knocking came from directly where the church is. Zip it. Smart. There you go. Smart. Nice. Can you read? Can you read? I read up to read. Yeah, you said it's about reading twice. Are we good? This church. Yeah, I'm saying if we pull Bible verses, I guess. Do you want us to read the Bible? What? Dad. What? No. I didn't put brand new batteries in it. That was one that was working totally fine last night. Right? And I put absolutely brand new batteries in every single investigation. I switch out all the batteries. But then again, it wasn't working fine. It was being affected a lot. So maybe it's tried it. Oh! Huh. There you go. Strange. Okay, we're gonna make our way down a little further. Again, feel free to come with us, follow us. Can we go this way? I guess, if we must.
Oh, oh wait, isn't this where the yeah. original tomb? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Headstone. Yep, we should investigate here. It just said no and yes. And that's what we were trying to get in the last room. Yeah. So it, it must have seen what we were doing. It just didn't want to do it there. So you want to play the yes no game here? We know you know how to use the torches and how to put your energy into them. Can we try and speak to each other this way? Do you want us to read a Bible verse? Do you need help passing on? If you need help passing on, please turn that light out. Come away from the torch. It's actually flickering. We can read all of the right chapters and verses that can help you pass on. You just need to know that's what you want to happen. So when you talk, it flickers. We truly can help you. If you're one of the people who are buried here without a priest, without a blessing, without a marked grave, on not consecrated ground, non-holy ground, and you need to help you need help passing on. We can help. But we just need a little bit of communication. Am I the only one seeing it pulsing? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So it is, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it doesn't maybe they don't want to pass on. Do you need help with something else? If you need help with something else, turn it off and we'll get to the bottom of this. Just come away from the torch. Unless you have um, the, the prayer. I have uh, the Lord's prayer. I know that one. Yeah, I can just say that, sure. Let's see. So we're here with the tombstones that were donated. Wanted to know if any of the spirits that are currently here with us are from these tombstones. We can see you. We see the flashlight lighting up on the tombstone. Thank you for communicating with us. We're just getting started. We learned about residual energy and how your spirit can still travel with these tombstones. And we're here in London now. This is where you reside to hear your story. Can you tell us where you're from? And can you tell us what happened to you? To anyone that we are speaking to right now, whether it's energy from the tombstones that were here or the bodies below us, could you tell us the occupation that you had while you were alive? Thank you for putting your energy in a flashlight. Yes, thank you so much. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hurry up. Hurry up. You hear that? Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Don't know the rest. Amen. You wanna try playing a song like you, right? Yeah. It's like it's not erased, everything. What the f- what was that? What was that noise? Oi. 
It's like it's not erased everything. What the f what was that? What was that noise? Hey. That was that dragging noise, right? It was either a dragging noise, it sounded like something went. Didn't you say you saw the candlestick move earlier? Or you I thought know, you might know. have? There's a shadow over. But I heard something over there. It's the same area. Just wanna make sure. Earlier I heard you say yes and no. Is that something you wanted to try? Or was you was that you mocking our attempt to talk to you? It's crazy that this came from a church. I always affiliate a sheep's head with demonic yeah. church of Satan and those types of things. Three, two. I believe you want us to read some form of a Bible verse or passage. Could you tell us which one it is? Do some of the spirits here seek refuge inside this church? Some of the plague victims or people who have been murdered on the street? Do you find yourselves congregating here, waiting to be set free? Do you have a physical form that you can see yourself? Or are you just a mass of energy. Could I ask one more question? Do you think you're alive or dead? How many people or spirits are down here? Or are there just too many to count? Ending. If the answer to the question is yes, leave the light on. If the answer to the question is no, turn the light off. Are we speaking to a spirit that is not related to these tombstones. I feel like it knew what you were going to say. Oh, I was going to ask that. Are you one of the entities that's been buried here within the thousands of bones that are buried below us? Oh my god. Oh my that's god. Crazy. Thank you for that answer. Thank you so much. Is your body still currently underneath this property right now? Are you at peace? Have you accepted the fact that it will be that way? That's so crazy sorry. to be like, to not be happy, but you're just 100% accepting of it because there's nothing you can do. Yeah, I'm I so have hundreds sorry. of years to, to understand it and deal with it. And, and now it's just, it is, it is what it is. It's crazy because the first time I turned on, I watched this record at the exact same time that I turned on. Yeah, I freaked out because I saw like a little beam of like light go pew pew. Uh.
conversational audio earlier now yeah. this is just aggression yeah well yeah what just moved what the f stop something moved almost like conversational audio earlier now yeah. this is just aggression yeah well yeah what just moved what the f stop I, I had to like check you, like did you have, I thought maybe you had a monopod. No, I didn't no, no that, was, that was furniture I moving. I didn't move shit. I hope I wasn't blocking that camera's I view. I think you are, but I, I might furniture be. just moved. You see what moved? No, no, heard it, but that's like that is the the most wood being dragged on floor sound you can ever imagine. Besides you, are there any other spirits that are in the same situation as you right now here with us? you were affected by the plague were you a child when you got infected when you got sick did you die as a child take your time yes that's a yes yeah I think so it's almost like a double confirmation with yes it's staying on yeah. but the fact that it dims and then goes bright again yeah you're yeah. right it's doing it again. It's, it's like, almost like when you're like driving on the freeway and you like flick your lights to be like, mm -hmm. I'm going around you, like, look at me. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Were you a female child? Were you a little girl? Nope. Huh. How instant. <laughs> this thing is answering us instantly. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? We're getting better evidence from a flashlight this than from the Panasonic. So... Do you like to play games? Is that why you were playing with us in the other room? It's a kid. It's a kid. Thank you again for be willing to finally chat with us. It kind of makes sense if it was a child. All the other stuff we were using was probably so advanced and a child who died during the plague would have no idea what the heck all these things are, all these all. devices, but a flashlight. Easy. So simple. Yeah. Wait, hold on. You just tap the bench, light goes on, light the entire time we've been thinking back here. Are you sitting 
right here at this pew. Maybe this is easier for you to talk. Do you need help in here or do you just want to be left alone? Do you feel as though you shouldn't have forgiveness for what you did? Ending the recorder, ending the recorder. If the last time you touched this, that light went boom, boom, on, off. Yeah. And everything we've been hearing is seeing is from right here. Yeah, what that was that? I don't know. Oh my, dude, these are mounted in. Like Wait, they're really? Wait a minute, listen, listen, listen to this. It was louder. It was so much louder. Wait, because this is hollow. It was so loud. That sounds like almost maybe Latin from a distance. Listen. So it's recording at all. It's a scripture maybe. And the last one was so angry too. Yeah, then we bring it over and it's peaceful. Like, same recorder, same everything, extreme anger, screaming, flashlight goes off as we hear the creek come over here, touch the pew, pure silence, but still recording, which means it's catching something. I wonder why that would feel safer in the back of the room. Someone whispering. It's like they're like speaking quietly. Yeah. You know what it sounds like? It's, it sounds like this. If I was just here with my head down, just going. Yeah. Is that not like what it sounds yeah. like? Just head down, just praying, praying sli slightly out loud, a little bit of, of, of a tone. Every once in a while, some words get louder. That's yeah. exactly what it sounds like. Jeff. We can do a test in between. The questions over there yeah. were about death and tragedy, and we got aggressive answers. Yeah. Questions over here were just, is this easier to hear you? You know, yeah. other people here that need help, things like that, more positive. So I wonder if by asking more negative questions here, is that what's happening? Yeah, maybe. So that, that way you can rule out if it's, if it's still quiet here, then obviously residual energy. But if we start getting aggressive answers again, then we know it's the line of questioning. Yeah. Three, two. Are you in here praying for forgiveness? the horrible things that have happened down here that you might have taken a pardon. 
How many people did you cut into during your line of work? Ending. That camera facing here, I have my hands here the whole time. Didn't move. No one moved. What the hell Didn't is move. that? It scraped a long neck. Didn't move. Throw my life. Did not move. Dude. He didn't move either. That was. That was. What, so what the f is that, bro? Is this the mortician or the cut man? I sound like a bone saw. Yeah, I sound like a bone saw. It's like this. No shot. It's nailed to the wood. It's one of the craziest things I've ever heard. There's trash over there. There's nothing here that can make that noise. No. Was, no, it was in the walls. It was in the walls. Dude, it almost sounded like it was outside the walls. Like. Like it was Initially, like when you recreated it on this, it was at least the first one was like that exact noise. Hello? You have to remember the walls too. Like if, if something was, wasn't in right here, it would be like bassy, like when a door is closed, like we wouldn't hear the like, like it the feels like it's there. right here. Yeah, it would be mu like muffled. We also don't know what this room was. Yeah, that's the issue. Yeah. So you very well could have heard a bone saw. Like, also, isn't this the corner of the room that when, when we were in the other room, we were hearing? Yes. Yeah, so the back end of this is that small little closet. Yeah, this is that exact area that we were like, we should go to the church. Is there anything here that we need to be aware of? Is there anything dark here that we should watch out for? Oh my god. That went from like yes. almost turning off to full yes. bright. Full bright. Is the shadow figure, the shadow man, so they call it, an evil entity that we should be watch out for? Back and forth, yeah. Oh, it's bright now. Yeah, yes. now it's consistent. Is the shadow man near or around us? Are there anyone here to protect you from the shadow man?
I would ask if there's like a way we can protect, but I wouldn't even know like how to start that or what to do. I feel like we would need some like an expert to come in and help us with that. I don't know what I would ever do to. So the Shadow Man doesn't just attack humans; it attacks spirits too. I mean, we've heard of cases of other spirits bullying other spirits, so it makes sense. It's just sad to get the confirmation. That's why in the beginning it was telling us to watch out. Yeah. There's evil entity, there's evil spirits. Like, oh my gosh, dude. Thank you for confirming. Thank you for communicating with us, letting us know about the Shadow Man, confirming that it is evil. Maybe when we bring the story out, we could find you help. We could finally help you and the rest of other spirits that are stuck here. Release you guys from the pain and misery from the Shadow Man. I think he likes that. I think he likes that. Is there a way we can help you? Yes. We just need to figure out how. I mean, once the video comes out, hopefully, to the psychics, to the mediums, to the witches, whoever that could come and help the entities here, please do. Right? Please come help these spirits. You know, don't listen back to that clip. I'd rather just go. Sure. I feel like we should have even started the second we heard that noise. It says I maxed it out, but I only have 42 clips. So that's the second DR60. We've had malfunction now, yeah. The thing is, is that noise, if it was something a part of the building, it would be consistent. I know. At first I thought maybe it was like a pipe turning that, on or anything, thought. but it just went. We heard it once, quick short, and then the big, long, erratic one. Well, the thing is, I can guarantee there is no pipes down here, hence all the ventilation no. shafts. No, yeah, there's no pipes. Hell no. Electrical no pipes. never make that noise. We asked them to turn off everything. Okay. Yeah, there's no bathrooms in here. There's no water running through in the Every cubicles. pipe and electrical outlet runs along the ceilings, as you can see. They run along the ceilings. You can see where the electrical outlets are. You can see where pipe and ventilation is. You hear screaming and chaos over here. You hear prayer quiet over here, and then you hear a bone saw. Don't do this. I don't want to die. That's it. You're done. You're shackled down. Please help me. Please get me out of the situation. Please do what you can. Please anything. And then what we hear is that chain. Like if you don't want to just say these are three different, completely unrelated events, would all make sense one two three and the entire night we've been hearing these knocks we've been hearing these thuds we've been hearing all these noises from here but like in order yeah and what was the first evp we heard clearly it was like cut them cut up, them up and throw them in the pits and we're not that far away from where we started we just had to go through this system yeah i'll try here one more time We are not trying to interfere with anything that is happening. Can you tell us what you are doing? We're very curious to know what you're doing back there. Are you using some form of instrument or is that a way of you communicating? If you could let us know, we can communicate some more. What? Like, well. The fuck 
was that? What the come from? What direction did they come from? I'm wearing headphones. Where are they? I don't know. This wall? Maybe? Dude, that was like, like the clearest knock I've ever heard. I think like right. It was loud though. Almost like something was thrown at a wall because it wasn't just one. It was a ricochet. So it was like boom, 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 boom. Well, it sounded like if a like someone standing up from a pew, like if it was rocking, it would like rock back and like boop, boop, boop. Or, oh my God. Cut them up. <laughs> throw them in the pits. Wait, that wasn't you guys? Oh my God. Cut them up. <laughs> throw them in the pits. Wait, that wasn't you guys? Throw them in the pits. Boom, what the f- boom, boom, boom. Have you ever heard a knock like that? No, no. Not two in a row that loud. Something's getting dropped down. Not dropped and rolled, not bounced That's like- worrying. Boom. That's worrying. That's worryingly loud though. And for the record as well, we know how far away we could possibly be from Jerry, Ginger, and Evan. Yeah. And they also would not be upstairs or above us. That half is our entire half. Like we separated this for a reason the way we did. So like obviously they are in the building, but they are not near us. And again, these are stone archways. Yeah, well that's yeah, the thing. That I have think. held the bridge up for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Well, yeah, I mean the train's not even that far away. If someone was above us, I think you can... Well, if you... It's hard, uh... to, it's hard to tell because this is... Big brick pot on the top. If you squeeze it, it's still it's all stone. Right. It's yeah. pure stone. You can see it. the way the arches are I mean, formed. Look at the ceiling. That's the real stone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can see the way the arches are formed. That's the low point. So what did that bang is? So it sounds like it's hitting something hollow. We're not trying to interfere with anything that is happening. Can you tell us what you are doing? Back to the shower. Notice how that didn't catch the bank. Mm -mm. Something covered up. Yeah, I might even just leave this here with the body camera on. We should, yeah, we should definitely. probably with them yeah. and ask them if they've experienced it or if they've caused any bank that, to eliminate it. That series of events was insane. Yeah, I'm setting this up here. That so was that insane. Okay, setting this up here for the angle this way of tools, but audio of that if it happens again. No. <laughs> We've been here this for a cool minute. We're literally texted you. How long have you been here? Uh, five, five? minutes. Yeah. yeah. Like no more than eight. So you haven't been throwing boulders on the floor. <gasps> no. 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 No, no. 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 We heard it come from this, as if we were all in this room. It came from here. What? And it sounded okay, like I a blood salt. It was going. Like, and then like a like dragging drilling. sound. Nobody thinks it was drilling through something. What? Not wood, not dragging. It, it sounded like yeah, metal teeth, rusted yeah. metal, like saw teeth, going through a bone. What? And we were stood there completely silent, just watching it happen. Physically not seeing anything, but you could hear the whole thing. You haven't been throwing boulders on the floor. <gasps> No. No. No, 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 no. We heard it come from this, as if we were all in this room. It came from here. What? And it 
Okay. Right. And then like a dragon sound. And nobody wants to go down there. Drilling the last like three hours. Dude, not wood, not dragon. No one it sounded like yeah, metal no, teeth, rusted no metal, no like saw teeth. No joke, crazy. Going through. Probably what? had in years and years. And we were stood there. Yeah. yeah. Silent, just like, watching it. Sounds coming from in the room when physically not seeing anything, but you could hear the whole thing. Like literally, we are all standing in the room, and we can all see where the sound is coming from. We know what the sound is. Nothing is moving. Which rooms? The, where the church is currently. Right. Have you ever had any encounters or noises come from the back of the church? With the old room before, okay. prior to it being the um, Just tell me, did anyone at all go downstairs in the last like three hours? And the dolls area. No one has been downstairs. On like a tunnel that was on the left hand side of that hole in the ground, and it opened up at the far end where the back of the room is with all dogs and bits and pieces and be all sorts of crazy things it's happening in that area. Okay. So that's basically where you're talking about is the back of that room. We are all standing in the room and we can all see where the sound is coming from. We know what the sound is. Nothing is moving. Which rooms? The, church. Where the church is currently. Right, okay. Have you ever had any encounters or noises come from the back of the church? With the old room before, prior to it being refurbished, we did used to have a lot of stuff that happened in that doll's area. And the dolls, and the dolls area was how was on like a tunnel that was on the left hand side of that hole in the ground, and it opened up at the far end where the back of the room is with all dolls and bits and pieces. There used to be all sorts of crazy things happening in that area. Okay. So that's basically where you're talking about the back of that room. Oh no, Jonah! Darn. Your B-roll is going to be worse. <laughs> uh, the last time we did this, it was so funny. You like sang like kitten songs or something. Kitten songs? You like made up a whole song about kittens. kittens. Yeah, you, no, I didn't. you did. You did a whole song kittens? about kittens. Yeah, it was like about like I'm gonna think about cute animals. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. It was something like that. <sighs> well, here, you wanted to bring it up yourself. You can do it yourself, right? Sure. Right? It's, like yeah, putting, yeah. it's like putting on yeah, your yeah, own yeah. cast. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then the guy, he'll come with me and then we'll both nope. figure that together. No, it's We're for accountability. Gonna... It's for accountability, that way we know you're not making any noises and you're by yourself. Alright, entering the church. Whoa, SLS turned off the exact second I opened this door. Whoa. Yep. That. The second I touched the door, it turned off. Look at that. Again, I mean, a screen recording. Every time I walk, it, it's been recording this entire time since we left the lobby upstairs. And will not work in this room. Whoa. Why? Don't know. Flashlight nice. on right now. I'll say it's mapping the chair. Whoa, I see that. Holy cow. Okay. Chair wouldn't be waving like that. No. It's very Isn't that... detailed, too. No. Damn, that's like exactly where we heard the noise from, right? The bang, yeah. Yeah. It just mapped the chair and then started waving. He said this this wall here is actually a fake wall and there's a void about a foot wide and then it's a solid foundation wall and there's nothing in between, it's just a void. He said there's no piping, no nothing. Flashlight. Flashlight. He says there's no electronics, no no heating piping. No AC units, no. No, everything's run by ventilation. What is that sound? What was it? What was it? No way. What is that sound? What was it? What was it? No way. Oh God. Clear as day. Told you. When we first heard it, it was it was going on for ages, like it was cutting along or something. 
Man, it's on the bench. Like you can imagine you heard that noise and stood there. We were stood right next to that. Oh, and we're all frozen like, what the hell? And you hear it go from here to here. That's insane. That's loud, too. Yeah. Here, around this area, area we've got screaming. Hmm. And then over here, we did an EVP, and it was um, almost like someone was praying, muttering very, very, very quietly. Mm. Mm. Very quietly. And then, um, when we asked questions about the person who mentioned about cutting up, they went back to screaming. I think they won't record this area. It just constantly turns itself off. I wonder if um, when they put that wall, there's still like bodies under the floor and they kind of squash them in. Mm -hmm. Very likely. Very likely that that happened. Really Flashlight went off for that answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, Elton, I wonder if something stuck behind the wall. That's true. Because he said that's a fake wall they put up. Uh, Elton had a big brain move to have me go do B-roll. With a camera rigged up by myself. And weirdly enough, I want you guys to know that I love ghost hunting, but I hate haunted houses. I hate horror movies. I, like, stay away from that as much as possible. And this is literally a haunted maze with like horrifying things everywhere <laughs> Jesus Christ I haven't even gone into the maze yet my heart rate is already like way higher than it should be this is going to be the worst b-roll of my life oh f me. Uh, I also I brought airpods with me so that I can at least play like some Billy Joel or something that I know the words to in the transparency mode so I can like stay sane if I start to have a mental breakdown. He said, he said it's a fake stone wall, but behind it's a real stone wall, the original. Mm. Do we just want to try and do this like no devices and everybody just take a seat and yeah. see if we can get... To me, like regardless of all devices, that is the ultimate way to get evidence. Let me set this one up on the side. Sure. So it gets you guys. Sure. I'll let it calibrate. That would not take a look here. We had the camera on the whole time. Oh my. And the body cam wouldn't put that. What do we think of that? No. No, because it's motion. Yeah. If you've been turning that on, can you turn the, the torch on? Let us know you've been playing with that. trapped here. Can you please try to make that sound again? have to take care of another body. Can you do so now? Can we 
make sure that we can hear the saw blades. It's the only way we can know for sure that you're doing the job right. A residual loop potentially. Mm. Sound like a creek behind you. Besides that, it's a slaughter. Huh. Okay. And there's nobody there, but I hear something. Ugh. Stupid rubber dead people everywhere. Jesus Christ. Honest to God, if I didn't have a camera to talk to, I think that would make it actually a lot worse. So even though you guys are from the future, you are helping me right now. It is traumatizing for me. Oh my God. I swear to God, if hell comes out of me, I'm gonna have an actual brain aneurysm. Fly me to the poon. Let me not die. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. The thing is, is if Elton jumps out and scares me, I'm not using my camera right now, I'm using his camera. No music box, no rep pod, no rope. Everything has gone silent now. Mm -hmm. Like, everything has gone completely silent since we all sat down. you want us in this room to communicate with you, can you please give us a knock or a noise to confirm this? A knock or a noise. 
as loud as you can. We heard that. We hear you. As loud as you can. Thank you. We're not sure. What you want to talk about. Do you want to talk about what happened to you? talk about your favorite way to disperse a body did you enjoy doing what you did Make it a bit brighter, yes. Did you enjoy cutting up the bodies and throwing them in a pit? Did it bring you pleasure? No. Did it make you sad? Do you still think about it now? Are you still trapped doing the same acts of cutting up and disposing the bodies? Even though you hate it, are you still forced to do it in your existence in the afterlife? Everything we're hearing still sounds like it's happening. Yeah. 
You want to talk about like a purgatory? Yeah. Like if the thing you hated the most about so yourself. Personal help. Having to con- like continuously do something so horrific that you hated doing every day, and yet your punishment for what you did is to keep doing it. It's like the horror version of Groundhog Day. Yeah. Right, over and over and over again. Well, on the flip side, we had Anthony, who was a child who died from the plague, who probably could have been a victim of somebody like this, and who said that he doesn't like it here, and he wants to be set free, so he could also be living that same loop over and over. Did uh, did he say he died from the plague? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. A I child. Was, I was wondering if he could have been one of the children buried in the bridge. Mm-mm. Okay. We asked both those questions. Yeah. person we've been speaking to all night. Do people sometimes see you as a shadow person, as a large black mass? Have you had encounters where people have seen you down in these tombs? I'm sweating like I just ran a marathon. This is the worst. This is not dope. Oh, God, I hate this. I wish I liked this stuff, to be honest. Like, I wish I liked horror movies. I know they have a lot of cool plots that I'm missing out on, but I just can't do it. The suspense causes me physical pain. And who likes that? It really does. It Like, it's the worst. And, like... Oh my god, like movies like The Shining with just like endless suspense just makes me want to die. Oh, whistling sounds creepy. Oh my god, I literally can't stop talking or I'm gonna f*** you out. And then I gotta film all these stupid heads. Look at these heads. ask some simpler questions. Could you make a sound if you are older than 50 or activate either of the two lights if you are younger than 50? We haven't learned anything about you tonight and I'm sorry for that. Six by then. Mm, okay. The average age for death, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when you turn that light off, we have another question. You know, I wonder, you know how when we see a star, we're actually seeing like very deep into the past. Yeah. Mm. Because how long it takes. Yeah. I always wonder if like that's the same thing. Yeah. 
like of why you have that delay in an answer because it's grappling through like such a deep distance mm. and like what if we acknowledge that yes you're under 50 but the light stays on until yeah. that message gets back through to them right which is why it's now off because it took eight seconds or ten seconds for us to hear them mm. oh. and that's why you get this like massive delay i mean realistically they are they're obviously not in our dimension Right. We're in a different dimension, so the sound, obviously sound travels at the speed of sound. But for a dimension... I have no idea. Exactly. Absolutely no idea. Okay, when the light's off, we have another question. And then again, Elton, we have asked a couple times tonight, and before we even finish the, the question, it's answered. Fly me to the moon, I'm gonna kill myself. Then I'm gonna kill Elton because this is traumatizing. And if he jumps out, I'm gonna sue him. And then. Oh my god. Fuck me. Oh, this is the absolute stupidest shit ever. If you guys see a tiny little girl with a knife behind me, comment below. And if you could let me know right now, that would be helpful. This is the hallway with a ton of babies strapped to the wall with their heads cut off. Who, who does this? Who thought this was a good idea? It's a terrible idea. They're, oh, oh my God! Dolls of a bro. Ugh, look at this hallway. Look at that hallway. Oh, stupid babies, bro. If you were here before the year sixteen hundred, can you make any sound? You're here after the year 1600. Can you activate either of those lights? Over thirteen hundred. If Black Plague is twelve or thirteen hundred, it hurts you. I remember having kids around the time in Australia was established. Yeah, that went off, that went off. 1346 to 1353. Nice. Before 1600, got noise confirmation. Yeah. We tried question one year. Noise Immediate noise. answer, noise again. This is insane. That was like immediate, like Evan says, yeah. I think 1350, yeah. Holy. That was triple confirmation. Dude, that's insane. 
like confirmation on the. <laughs> Yo, this is cool. I can't get over this corner, man. Yeah, I'm like almost just used to it at this point. Yeah, so that's me and when you first hop into the freaking home. I'm freaking but out. Now it's giving us pure answers. Yeah. Can you make a noise in the room again? If you were a doctor or a medical professional of some sort, if you were not, can you turn one of the lights on? Did you have any training in human anatomy? Oh, I was a f***ing clown right around the corner. Jesus. F*** you, pal. Oh my god, I'm lost in a f***ing clown maze. <sighs> okay, I'd like to put the camera down for a second. <sighs> I am stuck in a clown maze. I'm not having a good time. <laughs> when you were here, were you here with training or expertise? about the human body. There's this stupid piece of shit who was the first clown I saw. <sighs> Alright. I'm 
not even shooting B-roll at this point. Really? I can't. All right, I'm gonna film this idiot. Does anyone like clowns? Honest to God question. Like, does anyone can have a single positive thought about clowns? I'm so glad I got out of there, though. If you're speaking to someone different, it's making that noise. Could you... Could you turn the light back on to let us know that it isn't you making that noise? Mm. Or, if it is you making that noise, could you turn the torch back on? Now, the noise. I got it on camera. You got it too? Yeah, nice. It was actually like a little like whimper. All three, all three things at once. Holy shit. Well, it's all the same. Light on, noise on, music box on. Yeah. What's crazy is that was the longest one we've heard. Yeah. And whatever it was, was enough to activate <coughs> The infrared music box. The next time the noise happens, I'm gonna see if I can get the SLS on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll regret it if I don't try it. Honestly, I do my best to try and get other people out of their comfort zone. I really do. And so I feel like I should do things when I scare the hell out of me. I do generally like to find, like to have. The things that I get people to do would be things that they want to do, though. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. It's like the catacombs. This place is actually cool. Like, historically, not this bit. Oh, oh my god. I'm f dude. Holy f that was the worst. Oh my god, that was the worst. You guys better f Subscribe to this goddamn channel. Thank you.
Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, damn. Oh. I knew it was an insane. Yeah. I was like, that's just. I was like, that would be the most human ass oh. thing I've ever, ever <laughs> fing heard. Oh. Oh, oh, it was Serious, we have ever been during a ghost hunt. <laughs> I feel like we're like camped in the bush, like waiting for the call to make the move. We just go and strike. Nothing on this. Nothing on this. Something is so inconsistent. To have all three go for once is insane. Yeah. Yeah. And the one time it went off for all three, it was like, I don't know, I feel like the ultimate combination of everything we had already asked and everything we had already been getting answers to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that was the one theory and that was what you asked, and like, I feel like that's. That's why I kept saying, like I kept seeing it move. And I was like, come on, like do it. But it wasn't that was the first time it stood all the way up. Same height as like the window. And then in that exact same section where the noise has been coming from. Is it resi residual motion? Is it reenacting? Is it stuck in a loop? It can't just be residual because it's like oh, no, it's, it's, it's answering us. Yeah, so it can't be residual. It's it's literally answering us. And the only other thing that we've asked is like, yeah, is it stuck in the, it's, it might be exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, but even stuck in a loop is normally associated with residual. Yeah, but this could be, this is almost like, yeah, Groundhog's Day. So it's not stuck in a, a loop, so say, but it's, re, it's having to reenact it every day. It's in its own purgatory yeah. of like reliving its like worst actions. It's own personal hell. Exactly. It's, doing, yeah. it's just stuck in perpetuity. <clears throat> Of just cutting up bodies, cutting up yeah, yeah, cutting up bodies and throwing in the pit, and we hear the the thud, and maybe it's going at a slower pace, which is why we're just hearing like one, and then mm -hmm. it waits, and then it goes, or again, like maybe they were siphoning off parts, or yeah, there's no supervision that no one even knew. They had to call in the the, the London Museum to document that these people are here, which means no yeah. one. No one knew. So I mean, they lost history. Exactly. Like. So they could have been doing anything to the bodies. That's what I'm saying. Like, if if yeah, if the the city of London itself didn't know or was willing to just like brush over it, bury it, mm -hmm. and allow someone here to open a business and do all these different things with modern day lawsuits and like that means no one knew. Yeah. No documentation. No I mean, rules. No one would have cared. And if it was the end of the world. Exactly. I mean, yeah, 2007, 2008 is when they figured it out. 
Yeah. 700 years later? Yeah. Why? Wow, that's crazy. Huh. It was weird. Oh. That was crazy. That was like, you weird. Had a he said, huh? It was like, like idea. Light yeah. And like, whoa. Sorry, I have a weird fascination with the one. number. It was 666 years ago. I think the math on that is 666 years ago from Black Plague to Discovery. Just odd thing. I could be off by a year, but I think that's the math on that. I just have a weird obsession with that number. I like it. I don't know why. Sorry. Yeah, I had a light bulb moment. <laughs> I had a light bulb Crazy moment. Me too. Yeah, that was whoa. Uh, I'm gonna cut this. It's going to die. So nothing happened since. It, literally nothing else in the SLS since that one moment. Wow. All the same time. The crazy <laughs> thing is, is the fact that we have so many more rooms to go and uh, explore and, and try and figure out what what's in them. But everything brought us here. Yeah. And kept us here. And then brought you. Six hundred sixty-six years ago. What? Actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I was like in my head. I was like doing brain math. I was like thinking six hundred sixty-six. Yeah. Oh. Disco- time of discovery to to Black Lake in England. It sounded different when we were close to it. Like it was almost chewing through something. Like it was the way I described it was chewing through chewing through bone and cartilage. Mm. That's what it sounded like when we were sat next to it. They're called saw teeth. Yeah, for a reason. That was true. Sorry. Getting away from the wall. All of it would make sense. The big, shadowy, black mass that appears. I don't know, it, it all seems to make sense to me. But the, the fun part is, they're opening this up for paranormal investigations. Soon. Our video won't be out for a while. So maybe we can ask them to keep tabs on if anyone else gets evidence here that like corroborates mm. what we've been getting. Because our video won't be out for like a month and a half, but they're starting this up like I think really soon. Huh. Yeah. So that'd be crazy if people start coming here and being like, yeah, we're pretty sure there's like a guy yeah, with like a bone saw. We think we hear bodies being tossed or... The fact that the SLS is like, the SLS has it at the same time. Yeah. I've, I've never, I think one time I've had SLS and Red Pot at the same time and I was like, so sad to get that. Like I, sh- I sh- saw something like reached out and touch it. Yeah, and that was like to me. That's like the golden. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because that's that's physical, aud- audible, mm. all of it combined. And no one ever noticed that before. Huh? No. Do me a favor. Go can subscribe to Dan if you're not subscribed to him. We offered numerous times, we like, can we make a video on your channel tonight? And you were like, no, I want to make sure that the Overnight channel gets the best possible video oh, yeah, of imaginable, which just yeah. speaks volumes. Yeah. Quality so, over quantity. Because I also realized I haven't been on your channel yet, because every time I come here, no. I'm like, hey, would you mind filming? But I've never been a part of your video, so. Oh, but it's always a pleasure. It's a learning thing for me. Every time I come away from work with you guys, I improve my content. So I get something valuable. You guys get my deformed face, which yeah. is kind yeah. of valuable. I'll be honest, sometimes you are hard to understand, but holy yeah, sh- this has been a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I was joking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was, Everyone got so uh, sad. Everyone got I liked so, him. Right? Yeah. Everyone was great. Yeah, I like that was accent. amazing. The Everyone got the, so tense. <laughs> holy f- dude, that was awkward. Oh my God. Wow, that was, I felt like I was doing an open mic. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Even Jonas flicking me off. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, just count me in. I won't. I won't say no to anything. Okay. You asked him there. It. You, you saw that. It. You he saw that. that. Uh, it was a handshake. Unless I headed it out the video. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>